Ashley, it's mm -hmm. election day, and I was yes. out this morning. It was quite lovely, I have to say. <laughs> it was lovely because maybe by the time you went out, you didn't need the umbrella Correct. anymore. Yeah. And as promised, temperatures warmed up overnight. So a lot of you started in the 50s as you maybe walked out the door to go to work or to get to the polls to vote. As we go into this afternoon, I do expect increasing sunshine, so it's really going to turn out to be a nice, mild afternoon. Some places are already starting to see the skies get a little bit brighter. Notice, yeah, there is still quite a bit of cloud cover out there, but it's thinning out ever so slightly. Notice, of course, the rain diving to our south. No more rain expected for today. Here's a live look in New London, where, as I said, we're starting to see some faint breaks in the clouds. You can see a few peaks of blue here, where temperatures are right around 61 degrees. It is 60 in Windsor Locks, 57 degrees in Waterbury, so a little bit cool in the Brass City. 61 in Chester, about 62 degrees in Lisbon. So we're running anywhere between 5 to 10 degrees warmer than where we were at this time yesterday. So, of course, many people noticing the difference out there. And, of course, this west-southwest wind is drawing in some of this mild air. Right now, winds ranging anywhere between 7 to 14 miles per hour. But the winds will gradually shift more out of the west this afternoon than out of the northwest overnight. And, of course, that northwest wind will draw in the cooler air. So let's show you what's going on. For the rest of today, we should see increasing sunshine with mild conditions. At overnight, mainly clear. We're going to see those temperatures come down. A lot of you will be waking up to temperatures in the 30s tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow does look like a nice bright day. We'll enjoy lots of sunshine, but some places will not make it out of the upper 40s and some places will be lucky to hit 50 degrees. So definitely a big drop in the numbers tomorrow. As we go from Wednesday night to Thursday morning, here comes our next system. And you'll notice as we head into Thursday morning, these shades of purple pop up. And that's because temperatures will be cool enough that we could see a little bit of an icy mix in some spots where you see possibly a little bit of sleet and rain and freezing rain mixing in. That would primarily be more likely for the northern half of the state. Closer to the shoreline, I don't think it's going to get cool enough for that. But we're not going to be dealing with steady rain on Thursday. Instead, we're going to see a little bit of a passing rain shower, wintry mix in the morning, and then notice more showers coming in during the afternoon. So the umbrella is kind of up and down for Thursday. Well, for the rest of today, increasing sunshine, as I said, quite mild. The temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Tonight, we'll watch the numbers tumble back into the 30s across most of the state, maybe near 40 degrees at the shoreline. And then tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, just cooler. 50 at the shoreline, 47 degrees inland. Uh, of course, we do have passing showers on Thursday. So again, not a steady rain, just Umbrellas up and down, if you will. Friday looks good. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds on Friday. Very pleasant with temperatures in the mid 50s. And we look ahead to Veterans Day weekend. It does look to stay dry for Saturday and Sunday. Best news on Saturday. Of course, we have a lot of parades and ceremonies that will be going on. So I'm just glad the veterans are going to get a nice quiet day.